thank you sumina uh, and thank you to the entire connecting dreams team i'm uh, filled with so m- so much of joy and uh, and a sense of pride that the very small team uh, of connecting dreams is able to pull off such a huge event uh, i can't even imagine uh, such a event i don't know if there are uh, world records for such events especially focused on change makers uh but if there is none this event certainly deserves to be uh there because six days of non stop sessions and the quality and and curating such amazing speakers participants from so many different countries uh i think all of us and each one of us in this room could uh take a bit of inspiration from the leadership of connecting dreams foundation um and and the wonderful team uh which is behind it uh so congratulations huge congratulations and i hope uh, this is beginning of something really huge and uh, in 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 the field of uh change making uh now i have spent uh, almost 15 years and we are almost hear about this word building a movement uh and i i believe that this effort which connecting dreams foundation has set in has definitely uh, led to creation of a movement of inspiring lot of people who wanted to learn uh of providing a platform to lot of innovators uh and just before this um, i was very closely uh, listening to uh, dr rakesh malhotra and his insights and one of the insights which kept coming back and forth is that uh that the citizen sector the civil society uh, can learn a lot from the government initiatives and government of course can learn from citizen uh, society and civil uh, society organizations and that's something which also came through a lot of sessions which we saw where people were talking about individuals at an organization level which led to then state national and and changing policies and practices so that's one constant uh, bit and that's also a key take away for me from this change maker 20 summit that how can we listen very carefully to the insights of change makers because a lot of times i think the journey itself is so complex uh, and it is filled with so many challenges uh, that we do not uh, have enough time to deliberate to reflect and to uh, very closely listen to what's happening because unless we listen to what's happening how can we build on it how can we uh, multiply on it so that 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 that's one point which really stood out for me from various sessions and also uh the very uh, apt summary uh, dr malhotra just shared with us uh the second uh, aspect i would say is that uh, being a change maker being a social entrepreneur is not new to the world uh, we have seen from time immemorial there are individuals who really step up and who say that there is a need uh, for change and india is blessed with uh, really inspiring examples uh, of individuals such as mahatma gandhi who led an entire nation to imagine that something which looked very impossible and unlikely could be possible uh, so uh, my request to all of the attendees and also people uh, who are who are part of this is how can we learn from the stories or from the journeys of these inspiring change makers or social entrepreneurs who have who have contributed so much because i think uh, sometimes in the rush of the time and because today we also live in a world where things are changing at a very fast pace uh, we we miss out sometimes on learning from these stories and and uh, the the really important insights these legendary individuals have put forward like for instance every time i have read uh, gandhi uh, and his life and how he built the entire movement and give a very global message uh i i am able to learn something new how he organized how how he built a team how he was able to uh make something happen which was just uh, located not just one region or one country and recently uh, i was in us where i was also meeting a lot of individuals how their civil uh, uh sort of uh, movement civil rights movement was inspired a lot uh dr martin luther king had observed a lot of uh, gandhi's life learned from his life uh so i think that's 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 one request i have 
is of course we have to look at them but also constantly learn from others because uh, uh, every individual every change maker has something to offer and for us to be able to uh, learn from them and constantly upgrade our own knowledge our own uh, skill set is an important aspect and i think somewhere this change maker 20 summit has been able to do that it put forward a lot of change makers from across the world uh, gave a platform to those change makers and and listening to their stories i'm sure increased everyone's uh, ability to create change at a much larger and much uh, broader scale uh the third point i would say is that most of the inspiring change makers i have met and uh, i am blessed uh, in in the work i do where i meet with a lot of amazing social entrepreneurs and change makers on a regular basis is that those inspiring social entrepreneurs or change makers are continuously asking them uh, themselves and the teams and and the individuals they are working with that how can we change framework around the problem which exists Uh, our solutions and what we are trying to do could of course touch a limited proportion of population who's affected by it but what is most important is that how can we change that mindset or in uh, our, the organization i work with ashoka we call it as framework change so how do we change the framework around that given problem because if large proportions of society start seeing that problem uh, as an issue and if ever those people start contributing to solve that that will have much more faster accelerated impact uh, rather than having just uh, one project one initiative so constantly asking this question and that's what i also noticed from some of the speakers when they were sharing their insights on across sectors is they were constantly uh, also pushing for that how can we change framework around a given problem which is uh, an an important aspect the fourth bit which uh, i have recently learned from uh, some of uh, my colleagues and other uh, uh, social entrepreneurs and change makers i work with is that the journey of being a change maker could be very lonely uh, and it requires a team and the team is not the immediate organization team uh, but it is essentially a change making network which we all need to start thinking of and uh, so that we can uh, bank on this network we can seek support we can offer help uh, so our uh, role is also to ask ourselves how can we support one change maker who we really admire how can we help someone who is doing inspiring work and uh, who 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 might use our help whether it's skill time energy a pos- possible connection whatever small uh, offer of help we can put on the table i think uh, we all need to be thinking about it and those small small bits add up um, and i have uh, in my sort of uh, work benefited from a lot of these connections and i try to pass it on whenever possible and the last bit i would say uh, which is very close to uh, my heart is that uh, our founder of ashoka mr bill rayton uh, very articulately says the best g- gift which we can give to a young person is the gift uh, and 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 that insight that you could be a change maker at a young age as young as uh, 12 13 14 uh, so my request through this platform is also that how can all of us because young people are there in our lives uh, they could be siblings they could be uh, our own children they could be uh children of our neighbors or contacts how can we inspire them to start thinking of being a change maker because essentially the initial bit which we are talking about of making this as a movement uh this could only become a movement if young people really uh become part of this movement and also play actively at the center of this movement and i saw a lot of sessions focused on that a lot of young people led and very inspiring sessions but i think the challenge which is there in front of all of us is how can we take this idea to every young person who we can reach because we need to uh, be thinking about uh, we have always thought about that there are so many problems around us and the only way those problems could be outrun is if we have equal or even more number of solutions and that requires everyone to become a stakeholder and the the sooner we can inspire any young person to start thinking of being a change maker then tomorrow if they are leaders in government academia corporate world they are still thinking of their role of being a change maker so we need to uh, 
be constantly also thinking that how can we involve everyone how can we inspire every young person around us and and uh, the organization i am part of ashoka has this really beautiful inclusive and powerful vision that we want to see a world where everyone could be a change maker and we also innately believe that everyone has in them it's just the circumstances sometimes which do not allow uh, a lot of individuals to unleash that potential uh, but if we can remind them if we can inspire them and if we can constantly uh, put our efforts and support uh, and especially for the younger ones uh, that would do a lot of justice to uh, this change maker uh, 20 summit of efforts and the larger movement of creating more uh, and and uh, inclusive environment for change makers around us so i'll not take much time uh, because uh, there are a lot of other very uh, important speakers and and uh, and more insights to be uh, to be heard but i'm i'm really filled with a lot of gratitude a lot of pride uh, and uh, i i i feel like the effort connecting dreams foundation has done and all of you who joined in in this movement uh, has made a very remarkable uh, next step in in this movement where a lot of people could become part of uh, this change making movement so my congratulations and thank you for inviting me and i look forward to learn and constantly be part of this community so thank you very much and uh, all the best uh, for the next steps